DeepMind's terrifying self-improving AI Artificial intelligence's exponential progress has been difficult to ignore in recent years. The most powerful algorithms today have hundreds of billions of connections and training them on a supercomputer costs millions of dollars. However, as enticing as large-scale AI is, progress isn't only about size. Work on the opposite end of the spectrum is also crucial to the field's future. Some researchers are striving to make AI development more accessible, efficient, and speedier. In this episode, we'll talk about what incredible feats self-improving and self-replicating AI might do soon, as well as what this implies for our civilization as a whole. But before that, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Think you like what you see? Then also be sure to hit that bell icon while you are at it, to ensure that you are notified every time we come out with a fresh new piece of content for you. That being said, let's begin. Lately, Preprint Server Archive has published research on how a type of algorithm known as a hypernetwork may considerably speed up the training process. The study's hypernetwork learns the internal connections or parameters of a million sample algorithms, allowing it to pre-configure the parameters of new algorithms that have yet to be learned. The AI known as GHN2 can foresee and calculate the parameters of an untrained neural network in a fraction of a second. The algorithms that used the GHN2 parameters beat algorithms that had gone through hundreds of rounds of training in the majority of cases. There is still room for improvement, as the approach's algorithm require further training to achieve cutting-edge outcomes. However, if the technique reduces the amount of energy, processing power, and money needed to build AI, it may have a positive impact on the industry. Even though machine learning is mainly automated, no one instructs a machine learning algorithm on how to perform its mission. Construction of the algorithms is a much more hands-on approach. It takes a lot of skill and experience to adjust and optimize a neural network's internal parameters so that it can learn a task at a high enough level to be successful. It's almost as if you're the coach instead of the player. You're persuading these things rather than instructing them clearly what to do. Demise Hasabis, a co-founder of DeepMind, told Wired in 2016, Researchers have been working on technology to automate crucial elements of the process, such as finding the optimum architecture for a new algorithm to alleviate the strain. The architecture of a neural network refers to high-level data, such as the number of layers of artificial neurons and how these layers are connected. Finding the best design takes some trial and error, and automating it might save time for engineers. So, in 2018, a group of Google Brain and University of Toronto researchers developed a graph hypernetwork algorithm to accomplish the task. They couldn't, of course, train a large number of candidates and pit them against each other to determine who would win. The number of possibilities available is immense, and teaching them one by one would quickly become overwhelming. Instead, they use a hypernetwork to anticipate the characteristics of candidate designs before putting them through a trial to see which one performs best. The idea is expanded upon in the current study. The researchers focused on parameter prediction rather than using a hypernetwork to rank structures. They think that by developing a hypernetwork capable of anticipating parameter values, they will be able to use it to develop any new approach. They may also provide algorithms a large head start in training, rather than starting with a random collection of variables, as conventional training does, to build a viable AI parameter picker. You'll need a solid, deep training dataset. As a consequence, because the dataset is so large and diverse, the researchers picked one of a million distinct algorithmic approaches to train GHN2. The researchers observed that GHN2 can effectively generalize to systems it has never encountered before. They can, for example, account for all of the regular state-of-the-art designs that people were used to. Thomas Kipp, a research scientist at Google's Brain Team in Amsterdam, recently told Quanta, that's a substantial contribution. Following training, the researchers put GHN2 to the test, comparing algorithms based on its predictions against algorithms that were previously taught. The results were amazing. Normally, algorithms use a technique known as stochastic gradient descent to gradually change the connections of a neural network. The actual result is compared to the expected output when the algorithm completes a task. Is this a cat or a dog? And the network parameters have been altered. Over hundreds of millions of repetitions, training nudges an algorithm toward an ideal state where errors are decreased. Algorithms are trained with SGD over 1000s of iterations, equal to the accuracy of algorithms that employ GHN2 predictions without any training. GHN2, on the other hand, took less than a second to anticipate the parameters of a model, whereas traditionally trained algorithms took 10,000 times longer. 
To be clear, the team's performance isn't quite up to par. The vast majority of machine learning algorithms are thoroughly trained to higher criteria. Even if an algorithm like GHN2 fails to produce flawless predictions starting with a set of parameters that is around 60% of the way there, is substantially superior to starting with a set of random values, algorithms would require fewer learning cycles to reach their optimum state. The results, according to Deep Peter Mines Velokovi, are obviously really impressive. They do a fantastic job of lowering energy costs. It's great to see academics create elegant methods to augment brute strength when billion-parameter models give way to trillion-parameter models. Researchers believe that because of a process known as recursive self-improvement, self-improving robots may eventually lead to AGI. The core idea is that as an AI system matures through recursive self-improvement, it will become increasingly adept at improving itself. This will quickly result in an exponential rise in its intelligence, possibly leading to AGI. Kumar, an expert, believes that this scenario is plausible, noting that we require several generally uncontroversial assumptions that such highly competent agents exist in theory, and that they may be found through a sequence of local advancements for it to function. To this point, recursive self-improvement is a concept that underpins several theories on how we could advance from moderately intelligent robots to super-intelligent AGI. Kumar emphasizes, however, that this is not the only path to AI superintelligence. A multitude of methods exists for humans to learn how to construct highly proficient AGI systems. This might happen if present machine learning methodologies are scaled up, such as using quicker technology. It might also be due to incremental research breakthroughs in representation learning, transfer learning, model-based reinforcement learning, or another field. For example, we could achieve enough development in brain scanning and emulation to be able to mimic and accelerate a certain individual's intelligence. We must be able to trust that all of a system's modifications are safe when it begins to modify itself. This suggests that we must be aware of all possible changes, but how can we be sure that a change is safe if no one knows what will be changed? Kumar notices that there are two distinct solutions to this problem. The first option is to restrict the system's ability to create new agents, we don't want to solve the same self-improvement problem by restricting self-improvement, as Kumar points out. The second option is to limit self-improvements to those that have been demonstrated to be safe, such as software updates or processor and memory upgrades. However, Kumar claims that distinguishing which self-improvement techniques are safe and which are not is still a challenge. He contends, in particular, that stopping the construction of one sort of change will necessitate such a thorough understanding of what self-improvement comprises that it will likely be sufficient to address the entire problem of safe self-improvement. Furthermore, Kumar says that even if technology advancements allow just restricted sorts of self-improvement, this isn't the path to pursue since it bypasses the fundamental problem with self-improvement that we sought to address. We want to create an AI agent that can build another AI agent with so many skills that we can't predict its safety in advance. We want to be able to transfer some of the safety thinking to parents and trust that they are doing it correctly, he says. So how do you feel about this new sort of artificial intelligence that is always building better versions of itself? Do you see any threats in an ever-improving artificial intelligence in the future when they have greater power and abilities over us? So, please share your thoughts with us in the comments box below. We'd be interested to hear your thoughts on the subject. With that, we'll wrap off today's installment of our weekly news. Next time, we'll bring you a more spectacular batch of technology-related news. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to view more of our weekly robotics and new technology updates. We'll see you again soon in the next one. Until then, peace.